There are many DNA extraction protocols that are expensive, complicated and time-consuming. An inexpensive alternative is a dipstick DNA extraction method. It's a really quick way to extract DNA and clean away contaminants. You can go from sample to PCR in 30 seconds. With costs starting at around 35 cents per sample, it's an affordable alternative to column-based extraction methods. Hi, I'm Brian Douglas from Bento Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you the filter paper dipstick DNA extraction method, explain the pros and cons, and I will also give you a quick demo. The dipstick method is a simple three-step protocol that takes you from sample to extraction in 30 seconds. First, there is an extraction step in dilute ionic detergent and salt buffer, followed by capturing the DNA with a cellulose-based dipstick. Then the dipstick is cleaned in a wash buffer, and finally the DNA is released into the PCR mix by dipping the dipstick into it. The protocol was published in 2017 by a team at the University of Queensland led by Professor Jimmy Botella. They realised that cellulose paper could be used to rapidly capture DNA, which could then be washed to remove contaminants. Since publication, this method has been adapted for a wide range of different applications. So what makes dipstick DNA extraction such a useful method? It's very quick. You can go from sample to running a PCR in 30 seconds. It's cost effective, whereas costs of traditional column-based extraction methods vary between $2 and $5 per sample. The dipstick method costs around 35 cents per extraction. This makes it ideal for low cost approaches. The method is also very versatile. In addition to extracting DNA from plants and animal tissue, studies have shown that it can be used for bacteria, fungi, insects, crop diseases and viruses. Moreover, the protocol is highly portable and can be easily carried and performed in the field. The end result is a DNA extract that can be used for PCR assays, sequencing and DNA barcoding. So, the dipstick method has some great things going for it. But of course there are some downsides. The main disadvantage is that the dipsticks only purify a small percentage of the DNA in the sample. Although it has been shown to extract trace amounts of nucleic acids, it does not concentrate the DNA in the way that a spin column extraction method does. This means that the method is better suited to PCR-based applications and is not suitable for methods such as restriction enzyme digests or PCR amplicon cleanups, or methods such as genome sequencing, which require larger quantities of DNA. Now, let me give you a quick demonstration using the Bento Dipstick DNA Extraction Kit. My sample for this demo is a small piece of spring onion. I've prepared three tubes, one with a small amount of extraction buffer, one with one mil of wash buffer, and a third tube set up for my PCR reaction, just waiting for a DNA template. First, I'll add the sample to the extraction buffer and grind the sample using a plastic pestle. Depending on your sample, around 10 seconds should be enough to release the DNA. Once the sample is ground, I will add more extraction buffer to dilute the sample to 500 microliters. Now for the dipstick and wash steps. I'll capture the DNA by dipping the binding end of the dipstick into the extraction buffer three times. Then I'm going to dip the dipstick into the wash buffer five times. And then I'm going to dip the dipstick three or more times directly into the prepared PCR reaction mixture so it can release the DNA template. And now I'm ready to run the PCR. So to summarize, the dipstick DNA extraction method is a simple, cheap, three-step process that can extract and clean DNA. As long as you only require small amounts of DNA for PCR, the dipstick method could be a great choice for you. You can find links to the papers and to the Bento Dipstick DNA Extraction Kit in the description below. If you want to see a step-by-step -step guide through the method, you will also find a dedicated video for that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.